It is Monday night. Late Monday night, in fact. Uh, whirlwind weekend. I just finally finished the last, I keep saying that and they keep giving more, the last of the law work. So I officially am down to one job. It's kind of scary, but exciting because now I get to start a brand new adventure with a, a new second job. <laughs> uh, your challenge this week is going to be a little more difficult, but I know you can do it. Uh, your challenge this week is not to let anybody get you down. And I know that after last week, that's going to be especially difficult for some of us. Um, as a fire sign, the water stuff moving in can be aggravating, uh, frustrating, um, annoying. Audrey kept saying, mommy, 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 for like five minutes. And I was just like, okay, I love you enough. <laughs> love, love. Um, so last week was survival. This week is not letting anyone get you down, realizing when something is aggravating you, annoying you, whatevering you, and being like, no, that's not going to get to me. I'm in my own fantastic little ball of happy joy and unicorn glitter bombs. I mean, I'm not going to let stuff aggravate me. And that is a very, very important direct route to embracing joy in your life is not letting other people aggravate you. It's true. Totally true. Uh, when the car broke down Saturday, I was disappointed. I wasn't aggravated or angry or anything like that. I was disappointed because I'd been looking forward to going to the fights for like a long time. Uh, so that was disappointing for me. Um, realizing that the car overheated as the biggest rainstorm moved in was frustrating because I thought perhaps that I could just stop every once in a while and add a little bit of coolant into, you know, the car and, and make it home. That did not happen. <laughs> and finally, the, the moment that I realized I was going to have to call a tow truck, which really wasn't that long after I turned around onto 95 South, um, I was just kind of accepted the fact that, well, this is the way it's going to be. I might as well make the best of it. Uh, I'm safe. I was dry inside the car. Um, you know, it could always have been worse. I almost didn't bring my coat. I was like, you know, it's going to be hot in the gym. All right. And I was like, no, I'll get it just in case. I'm always cold, always cold. Um, so it could have been worse on like a bajillion different levels, but it wasn't. Uh, the tow guy, nice, awesome, really sweet guy. Um, you know, it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be. And then the radiator fix was more expensive than I thought it was going to be. So there's a paycheck and a half. Uh, you know, that is a little bit more crushing than anything else entirely is. I finally felt like I was saving up for the down payment for the next car or Jeep or whatever it ends up being. And I feel like I've had a pretty big setback um, with the breakdown. So I guess that shows me my weakness is, is that, you know, my emergency funds aren't where I want them to be. Uh, so I'm going to focus more on budgeting so that I can get them to where I don't feel really, really crappy <laughs> if something else is to happen in the future. So that's that's my one of my goals moving forward. Um, the other thing was is that normally I do my calendars and my scheduling like two weeks ahead of time, but I've been so off schedule and exhausted from working two jobs a lot uh, that I really missed. Audrey has a doctor appointment this Friday and I totally didn't realize it till I went to do the calendar tonight. So now I have to tell my boss tomorrow morning, oh hey, by the way, <laughs> yeah, so they're going to be a little aggravated by that. Um, but 
it falls on a day where they're not with me. And I was like, let's drop off the car seat. I'll take her. No big deal. Uh, the, fir the first time in, I don't know, years, literally, uh, he was like, you can just meet us there. You know, we, we was very standoffish. And I was like, okay, that's weird. I'm pretty sure if you show up without me, they're going to think that you killed me and stole our kid because I never miss a doctor's appointment ever, 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 ever. Uh, <laughs> so that should be fun. Again, aggravating, but I'm not going to let it get to me. Oh, thankfully. And it's just a, a checkup while visit, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, there shouldn't be that much to talk about. She's grown like a weed. Um, she's healthy, f you know, knock on wood. All is well. So I'm excited that she's not showing any big autism symptoms. Uh, I'm very relieved, honestly. Uh, I am... Um, and I know it's, I feel guilty saying that, you know, but as an autism mom, it's, it's, it's nice to know that, that there's one, one little level of normal in your life. And she's my level of normal. Um, so yes, your challenge this week, uh, is to not, not let anyone dull your sparkle, essentially. Don't let anyone get to you. Um, there's going to be frustrations. There's going to be challenges. We, we have to be like, all right, that's, that's pretty aggravating. Uh, I'm either going to deal with this, I'm going to ignore this, or I'm just going to scoot around it. And as it doesn't affect me, if it doesn't affect you, just ignore it. You know, not my monkeys, not my circus, whatever you want to say to get through it. Do it. <sighs> All right. That's my sign to go to bed. I love you guys. I'm sorry this is late. It has been a particularly challenging weekend uh but we're fine everyone's fine except for my pocketbook ah have a good one bye guys